Hey folks, it's Dr. Sam and I'm on a lava field on the saddle road between Hilo and Kailua Kona. Um, I wanted to address this question about essential oils and applying them directly on your body and do you need a carrier oil? Well, I think the first thing to note is that if you're going to use essential oils on your body, you want to get the highest grade organic uh, essential oils that you can. Uh, if the oils are adulterated, this is when you can have some reactions. My second point is, is that if you're going to use essential oils directly on the body, I would start by doing a test patch. And I like to do my test patch about right there. Uh, it's a pretty, uh, pretty safe area if I get any burning or redness. So if I put a drop there and I don't get any reactions, chances are I'm going to be able to put it directly on my body. And as long as you keep it away from the sensitive areas, including your eyes, you should be good to go. Now the third piece is whether or not you should use a carrier oil. And again, I think this is a personal choice. Some people like uh, jojoba oil or almond oil, coconut oil, and certainly using a carrier oil will help dilute the concentration if you're really sensitive. I like to put the essential oils directly on my body. Uh, I find that the higher the concentration, uh, the faster they can get into my bloodstream and they're going to oxygenate and hydrate uh, me. And of course, the, uh, the scent, the aroma of it, has an effect on our limbic brain. So this is the emotional center of our brain. And it also can affect our frequency and vibration. So explore. I think medicinal essential oils, if they're high quality, uh, they can be a wonderful asset in terms of supporting optimal health. All right, everybody, I'm going to get back to Kona. Uh, thanks for listening, and until next time, take care.